Hey, this is a tip for Windows 10. This will show you how to force Windows to stop installing a device driver. Now, since Windows 10, it forces um, device driver updates automatically by using device drivers from the internet. And in my case, it keeps picking the wrong drivers and causing loads and loads of problems. Um, for this tip to work, you're going to need Windows 10 Pro. To check you've got that, just push the Windows key, start typing the word system, and then push enter, and then you'll come to this window here. And obviously you can check, make sure you've got the Pro version. So from here, we're gonna right click on the Windows icon and go up to Device Manager. Assuming you know where this device is, you just wanna force it to obviously use the right driver. Now, if you just right click on the device, go to Properties, go to Driver, you might be lucky and be able to get away with just clicking Rollback Driver and it will pick the particular driver you want. But in my case, it wouldn't do that. It just kept forcing this new driver and just caused me lots of problems. But as you can see here, I've already forced this um, computer into using an older driver from 2011, which works really well for my particular laptop. Basically, I've got two graphics cards. One's dedicated and one's on board. And uh, for whatever reason, it was causing this huge boot delay when it was using the newer driver. And I've, I've got an SSD in this, and it just kind of defeated the point of having an SSD because it took too long to load. Anyway, so what you're going to need to do um, is go to the Details tab here of your device, go down to Property, go down to Hardware IDs, make a note of this Hardware ID at the top here. You may need all of these IDs, uh, these values, sorry, from, from this Hardware ID section. Uh, in my case, I just went with the top one and that was good enough. And I would think that should probably be all you'll need. Uh, make a note of those, either hand type them or use the snipping tool temporarily. That was, that was by pressing Windows and typing the word snipping. And then make sure you're in windowed mode or however you want to do it, just click new. And then you can save a PNG out of that if you wanted to. So I'm not going to bother with that right now. So in my case as well, because I had two graphics cards and they're both affected, I went into, um, again, the detail section, hardware IDs, and I made a note of this hardware ID value as well. Once you've got those values, make sure they're safe. Next stage, we're going to uh, disable your internet. In my case, I'm using a laptop, so I'm just gonna put it into flight mode. If you and, it, and you can see that it says Wi-Fi turned off. If you've got a desktop, make sure you've unplugged the Ethernet cable or however you've got it connected to the internet. Just make sure it's disconnected because otherwise Windows is going to look online for newer drivers and mess it all up again. So from this stage, we're going to then remove the device completely. Just go to uninstall device. Make sure you click delete the driver software for this device. That will completely remove the drivers that it has. And I've already done that, so I'm obviously not going to go through that process. It takes quite a while. You can also get to it by going to properties of the device driver and then uninstall the device from there. Just again, make sure you tick that. I've been through this process, so I'm not going to bother going through it all again. Make sure the drivers are off. Re oh, before you do that, actually, if you can do that, because sometimes it might force a restart, but Otherwise, go into Control Panel, just push the Windows key, type the word Control Panel, go to Uninstall, and basically I'm just going to search for anything in here related to the device that I'm using. In this case, there was an AMD Catalyst version, because this is an AMD graphics card. In your case, try to search for something or just look down the list of uh, programs in your on your device and remove anything that's related to it because this will also affect the, um, the process. Once you've done that, restart your PC. Make sure that you've uh, that it's all okay. In my case, obviously the screen's completely distorted because it's using the wrong driver. From this stage, then install the correct driver, the one that you know will work before Windows takes control. So install that driver, restart your PC again, make sure it's all working and nothing's changed, it's all as expected. Making sure that you're still offline because at this stage, Windows would just then install the driver and mess it all up and obviously you don't want that. So anyway, I'd assume you're at the point where everything's running and you're happy so now we're going to block windows. We're going to deny access to um, changing the driver. So if we just click run, that was right click in the windows icon, go to run, type gpedit.msc, push enter. 
and then we're just going to maximize this so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to go into computer configuration administrative templates system um, where are we device installation device installation restrictions and we're going to go down I'll just make this wider so you can see we're going to go prevent installation of devices that match any of these device IDs so I'm just going to double click that as you can see I've already got this enabled you would need to click enabled and then down here you're going to need to click show and then in here this is where we're going to put in those hardware I, um, values from the hardware IDs make sure you've put all the ones that are relevant in my case there were two one for each graphics card just double click in the sort of box and you can start typing in there make sure you click OK and and just to be sure that this it's done it restart your PC come back everything should still be fine now because we've done this you can't change the driver again at all for this device so if you ever need to do it yourself installing your own driver go for the same process make sure the internet's disabled and then you can go through it and you can disable this and then repeat the whole process but assuming you've done that everything's um, enabled you're blocking the um, device IDs you can then go in switch your internet on cross your fingers and hopefully Windows will no longer touch your device because it basically you've denied it access by using the group policy editor hopefully that's worked for you if it has please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing please subscribe or if you've found another method or if you've got any um, anything you'd like to know please write me a comment Thanks very much. Cheers.